Let's continue talking about general form of the linear equation. This question is asking us to take that equation and rewrite it in general form. Now, just as a reminder, general form is a x plus b y plus c equals zero. What I've got right here is not general form. In fact, that is slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is useful, but it's not what I'm looking for right here. In order to change it into general form, I'm going to have to do some algebra. I'm going to move things around. I'm going to deal with any possible problems like negative A values and fractions. In fact, that's where I'm, right, where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with that fraction. Let's get it out of the way. My lowest common denominator in this case is 3. I've only got one fraction. Let's deal with it on its own. So let's times everything by 3. Times that by 3. If I times that by 3, I also have to times everything else, including this y out front. If I rewrite that, I've got 3y. Those divide by 3, multiply by 3, those cancel each other out. 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. All right, next step. Let's move everything over to the left-hand side. I've got a minus 2x here, so I'm going to add 2x to both sides. I've got a plus 12, so I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. What ends up happening, these two cancel each other out, and those two cancel each other out. I am left with 2x plus 3y minus 12 equals 0. That looks like general form to me. If I have a good look at it, I don't have any fractions. My a value is positive. I've got everything in the right order. There is my general form. Let's move on to writing this one in general form. Just as for my review again, ax plus by plus c equals zero. That's my general form. What I've got right here, this is point slope form. Just like before, we're going to use some algebra to move things around, to get rid of those fractions, to make it look the way I want. I'd like to get rid of that fraction first. My lowest common denominator equals 5. So I'm going to times that by 5. I'm going to times that by 5. Now, technically, this whole piece right here is one piece. So I'm going to times the whole thing by 5. And that's because it's 3 fifths times x plus 2. It's all multiplied together as one piece. All right. 5 times y gives me 5y. Minus 1 times 5 gives me minus 5. These two 5s will cancel each other out. Multiply by 5, divide by 5. I've got 3x plus 2. All right. Next step. Use a distributive property to multiply that 3 into the brackets. Over here, this 5y minus 5 doesn't change at all. But over on this side, 3 times x gives me 3x. 3 times 2 gives me plus 6. Now I have a choice. I can take everything, move it to the left, or I can move everything to the right and then flip the sides of the equal sign. I want to move all of these parts right here, I want to move them over to that side. And there's a reason for that. My a value is already positive. So if I move it over to the other side, it's going to become a negative 3x, and that's just going to be a little bit of a mess. So let's keep it here. If it was a negative 3x, I would move everything to the left. But right now it's a positive 3x, so I'm going to move the left onto the right. Minus 5y, minus 5y, plus 5, plus 5. These two cancel each other out. Those two cancel each other out. I'm left with 0 equals 3x. I'm just going to rearrange the order a little bit here. Minus 5y. I'm going to put these two together because they are like terms. Plus 6 plus 5 gives me plus 11. When I look at that, I've got all the pieces. I've got it flipped. And remember, if you flip things around the equal sign, you can just change the side. So I'm going to rewrite that as 3x minus 5y plus 11 equals 0. There's my general form. 
I have taken a point slope form and changed it into general. Let's do two more examples. One more of each. I'll go through these a little bit quicker because it's the same thing again. In mind, I'm aiming for AX plus BY plus C equals zero. I've got a fraction. Let's deal with that first. Lowest common denominator equals four. I'm going to take each piece and times it by four. Four times Y gives me four Y. That four and that four cancel each other out. I equal negative one X. I don't have to bother with the one, I'm not wrong, but I don't need to. Plus 12. All right, this time I've got a negative value in front of the X. I've got a negative one. So I'm gonna move everything over to the left-hand side. So I'm gonna go plus X, plus X, minus 12, minus 12. These two cancel each other out, those two cancel each other out. I'm gonna reorganize the order. I've got X plus 4Y minus 12 equals zero. And that right there is general form. Let's do another one here. We're looking to take this equation, which is written in point slope form, and I'm going to rewrite it in general form. AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Let's get rid of the fractions. Now, if you don't have a fraction, you don't need to do this step, but in this case, we do. Lowest common denominator is going to be two. So I'm going to take each of these terms and times it by two. Times that by two. Times that by two. And this whole thing by two, just one big term. All right. Two times y gives me two y plus two times two, which is four. These two twos cancel each other out. Times by two dividing by two. So I'm equals three x minus four. Let's use the distributive property, multiply that three into everything. I've now got two y plus four equals three times x gives me three x. Three times negative four gives me minus 12. Let's move our pieces around. I've got a positive three x already, so my a value is already going to be positive. If I don't wanna move that side of the equation, I'm going to move the left-hand side of the equation just so I can keep my a value positive. I'm going to subtract two y subtract 2y. I'm going to subtract 4, subtract 4. Those two cancel each other out, those two cancel each other out. I've now got 0 equals 3x. I want to put my y piece next, minus 2y, and then these two are the same, are like terms, so minus 12 and minus 4 put together gives me a minus 16. Let's flip it around. 3x minus 2y minus 16 equals 0. Now I've got it in general form. 